The microscope has evolved over the years from the simple magnifying tube of the 18th century to the complex and precision instrument of today. Advances in the design of optics over recent years have led to a range of microscopic techniques which can be used to study the ultrastructure of biological material. Nowadays, microscopes are used routinely in a wide range of scientific applications. The basic design of the microscope is similar in all cases, and we can demonstrate it with this standard bright field type. Once the power has been switched on, the lamp intensity needs to be set at a comfortable viewing level. Adjust the spacing of the twin eyepieces for your own comfort. One of the eyepieces will have a focusing ring. Adjust it so that a sharp image can be seen with both eyes. All microscopes contain the same key components. These are a controllable light source, a substage condenser to focus the light onto the specimen, an objective lens which resolves detail in the image and an eyepiece which focuses the image onto the eye. The prism mounted in the head of the microscope bends the light into the eyepiece. The compound microscope gets its name from the fact that the image of the specimen is magnified both by the objective lens and the eyepiece. Light from the specimen passes through the objective and forms a magnified inverted image inside the microscope. The eyepiece focuses this image onto the eye, magnifying it still further. Both the eyepiece and objective will have particular magnification factors and it's the combination of these that give the microscope its overall magnifying power. Objectives of varying magnifications are mounted on a rotating stage, making it easy to bring lenses of different power into the optical plane. A common reason for poor images is dirt either on the slide or the objective. Both should be cleaned with lens tissues.